Actually, for the very first time in my life, I arrived in India in February. I went to a conference in New Delhi, which was organized by the British Council, which had the very uh, inspiring and interesting name, Unbox. For three days, I learned about the startup scene in, in Delhi, in India. I learned about you know how people abroad local problems, what actually with what kind of topics they are dealing there. So this was a very nice entrance for me uh, to come to India. After that, I went more or less on a vacation trip and I ended up and I also got stuck in Kachurao, which is about uh, 500 miles southeast of Delhi. It's there where all the old Kama Sutra temples are, uh, uh, yeah, where, where they all are. So it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and uh, besides its beauty and besides its uh, uh, yeah, international flair, it's quite a relaxing, a, quite a comfortable place. I met a family there, uh, one of the most yeah, powerful and richest family in this area and I came to yeah, a bit closer to them and they asked me to my very much surprise, if I would love to build a school there. So uh, I talked to them a couple of times. I talked to different people in the area. And when I left, I told them that within yeah probably two weeks, I will come back to them and tell them if I would do it or not. Uh, I arrived back in Europe, called a couple of my friends also from my international network. And actually after a week, I called them and said, yes, I'm going to build the school there for, with you from the scratch. <laughs> Incredible India. <laughs> the basic idea is, uh, I mean, we are really building from the scratch, meaning we are right now in the middle of the process to set up a society which basically will run the school. So there is nothing established yet. It's really from the scratch. With, besides this, this legal frame set we have to set, we uh, will write a business plan, that's the next step, which will include, of course, the very basic ideas of this boarding school. Uh, it will be a boarding school. We are aiming, uh, of course, to get the people who can afford to send their children to a boarding school, but we are also aiming to get in really kids from uh, families below the poverty line and we try to fund them with uh, either international sponsorships or any kind of international funds from foundations or whatsoever worldwide. Uh, the basic idea of the school is that in the classic curriculum, so we will really uh, serve from grade 1 to grade 12, that the basic curriculum, which enables the students then to study at any university well, worldwide, has no hierarchies within the disciplines. So the arts are as important as mass or as humanities. So there won't be any distinction in between. Uh, I also think that or believe that the traditional schedule in a school, like you know, learning math from 10 to 11 in the morning, then followed by Hindi whatsoever, uh, is not the right way to do it. So it will be much more like an open space where we do have goals which need to be achieved. They will also be evaluated, but we'll try to do this in, in a much different way than classical governmental schools in India and also here in Nova Germany will do it. This entire curriculum will be uh, accompanied by what we call project-based or solution-based learning meaning that we are trying to identify before we start building the school within the next year in a program which we call community program we will identify local needs local problems within the community we'll talk to the people there we really try to find out uh, what their needs what their problems are and build upon this 
we will do workshops where we bring students plus their parents to to find solutions. And this is what we will also add later on to the curriculum uh, and teach children on, by hands-on workshops, also math or English or Hindi or physics or whatever is included in these programs. So uh, I think a huge challenge for, for this area down there, it's really rural India, uh, is to convince the people that education is something good. That, I mean, many of the families, they, they struggle for daily survival. So they don't have the money, you know, usually to send their kids to school. Instead, they send their, their kids to work because they have to contribute something to, uh, yeah, to the daily money which is needed to survive for the family. So these concepts, these workshops, these solution-based projects we are running, they have also to show that education has an immediate benefit for the families. That's the only way to get these kids in there and that's the only way how we can succeed with this entire school concept. And this is something which, is, which would be pretty new in the Western world here, but I think that's the only way to do it in a country like India. So uh, for this, my international network is hopefully very helpful because I do believe that I can bring in people from the MIT who work like this. I can bring in people from design thinking schools from all over the world. And, you know, just to get slowly, as John Hagel said, small steps smartly made, to get slowly adjusted to these new ideas and bring them into the context of a school curriculum, which I think is, is, is fundamental for, for getting students ready for the 21st century. Finance, we got basic uh, finance from the family, which we do, which we just set up the society with. They give us land, they provide uh, accommodations for whoever is down there. They really do the part to all these organizations needed, to all the lo local organizations needed within the, this pro process. Uh, I mean, the major reason we are writing this business plan is, of course, to get uh, funding international funding, but also from local social uh, education funds in India. I mean, there is money in India, you just have to find it. It's, it's the usual uh, secret, <laughs> which is the same all over the world. Uh, so I'm pretty optimistic that this can work out. Since we all will also have a process, process where we don't need, you know, all the money right from the beginning, we, as I said, we make small steps and from there we can easily adjust, first of all, our goals, but also the money which is needed. Uh, we will start in June, July uh, with our community programs, which I men mentioned before. And the kickoff will be, and there we are actually right now crowdfunding for, uh, will be the implementation of two learning stations from a hole in the wall project which started out in Delhi uh, around 2000 and which now covers uh, actually entire India. There are more than 600 learning stations out there reaching out to 500,000 people in India. So we will implement two of these learning stations in Kachurao. This will cost us about close to 10,000 euros and we are right now in the middle of the crowdfunding campaign uh, to get this entire thing started because we think uh, if we school does implement these two learning stations in Kachurao, it first of all shows our commitment to the village and uh, secondly it shows them that we will go a different way uh, in education and therefore it's, it's really necessary and fundamental for for our success there. And donate, please. <laughs>